Flav City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you from Walmart, about to do a budget-friendly haul here at Walmart. Uh, let's walk around. Let's show you some of my favorite things when it comes to steaks, fresh produce, cheese, eggs, some really good items in the frozen section. And this video is actually sponsored by Walmart Plus. I just signed up for it the other week and I'm loving it. Here's the kicker, you can get free same-day delivery of all the groceries they have in store for the same exact price. There's no hidden fees, there's no markups, and get this, when you click the link in the description box and go to walmartplus.com, you'll get a free trial. Try it out using the link in the description box. Uh, that is it, less talking, more shopping. Let's go walk around Walmart. Do not sleep on the beef selection at Walmart. I always say, if you know how to navigate it, you can find some amazing deals on some Bobby approved cuts of steak. And I usually live right here. This is the grass fed beef selection. And they have really good options from ground beef to burger patties to really good grass fed steaks. And here's the deal. Look at the price. It's $4.96 per pound for 100% grass-fed beef. And you might be like, wait, Bobby, you always said, look for 100% grass-fed or grass-fed, grass-finished. I know they don't put it on the front, but if you read right here in the back, boom goes the dynamite. Grass-fed and grass-finished beef. Remember, grass-fed, grass-finished is the same as 100% grass-fed. What I love about this too, see where it says 80-20 here? You'll normally see 90-10 or 85-15. What do I always say about pasture-raised beef? fat is flavor. That's the good fat. So 80-20 is actually great because you're not going to overcook the meat and it won't dry out. Most every other grocery store has 85-15. So I love the fact that this has more fat and it's cheaper than the one that has more beef. This is $5.98 a pound. This is $4.96 a pound. I would load up on this one, make some great burgers uh, out of that. 80-20 is the way to go. Um, and for steaks, right? Let's, what if you want a steak dinner? 100% grass-fed beef tenderloin steaks, New York strip steaks, sirloin, or you want to make some chili once the weather turns cold, beef chuck roast. I mean, look at this. You can toss this on the old grill here at $19.97 a pound for 100% grass-fed beef. Uh, when we go over to the produce section, I'll show you how to take some vegetables, pair it with the steak, and make like a really healthy keto option that's delivered same day with Walmart Plus. Amazing stuff. Um, and then if you want to get chicken, I think I've talked about this before, I personally would go organic, and they have a really good, here, if you're at the grocery store, you can't really find pasture raised, but I love this. Organic drumsticks right here and organic boneless, skinless chicken thighs are my favorite because white meat chicken tends to dry out very easily in my opinion. This is organic, non-GMO, skinless, boneless chicken thigh for $5.28 a pound. This has serious, serious flavor. I would scoop that. I would scoop the beef down there and you're good to go. All right, you just got your grass-fed steak. You wanna order some uh, groceries to make a steak dinner. What do you do? Well, what I would do is come straight here and get a head of cauliflower. Um, I've talked about this before. Cauliflower is not on the Dirty Dozen, so you don't have to get organic. And to get a big old head of cauliflower for $2.44, this one is huge. What I like to do is make keto cauliflower mash. Um, it's a bomb.com recipe. I'll leave the uh, recipe in the description box. You uh, roast this or steam it or boil it and then blend it with a knob of grass-fed butter, some good quality cheese, salt and pepper. You can't even tell the difference between mashed potatoes. This with a steak would be fantastic. And remember, uh, with Walmart Plus, it's the same prices as in-store, same day delivery, super duper cool. Um, let's say you wanna get some broccoli cr crowns. Uh, this is a great price on something that isn't on the Dirty Dozen either. You can make keto cauliflower pizza or keto broccoli pizza out of that. Um, I have that recipe on flavcity.com. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, the reason why broccoli and cauliflower are not on the Dirty Dozen, meaning they're clean 15, you can buy uh, conventional, is they produce a natural gas that prevents bugs from eating them. So they're actually sprayed very, very minimally. And the same is true here with my favorite cabbage. Uh, you can get that uh, natural or conventional too. Fine slice that up, make a nice uh, salad. That's fantastic. And they have a really good price. Let me show you. Here on avocados, 78 cents a pop 
for an avocado that's like medium size, that's not bad at all. And I don't see too many of these, but these are the Florida local avocados. They're massive, but I'm not a huge fan of Florida avocados because they tend to be a little more watery and have a very different texture. I like the uh, Mexican uh, Haas avocados over here and that price is fantastic. It's back to school season. I remember that feeling very well when I was younger, having to go back to school, having the summer off. It was a horrible, horrible feeling, but we have to plan ahead. We have to send the kids to school with healthy snacks and whatnot. Well, in the cheese section of Walmart is a hidden gem I've talked about before. It's this, it's the Walmart branded cheese. Now, obviously it's nice to have some sliced cheddar that's organic on hand. It's nice to have some cheddar blocks for snacks, but this, kids love string cheese i used to love it um, it's very rare to find organic string cheese and if you do you're not going to find it for that price 284 is fantastic organic meaning it's made from non-gmo milk cow's milk fantastic stuff right kids love this parents love that price send your kids to school with that it's like uh billy madison you know i love my snack pack whoa look at this happy days in the egg section here i've never seen this before at walmart not one organic pasture-raised egg option, not two pasture-raised egg options, three pasture-raised options, two of which are organic. This is a local one, 548, Vital Farms, 548, and this one, I don't see the price, but this is really cool because not all happy eggs are pasture-raised. This one is, and it's organic. The nice thing about that is that the supplemental feed on that is gonna be non-GMO, USDA organic. I'd say any one of these are good to go. You guys know I love pasture-raised eggs. In my opinion, the beautiful thing of that compared to other eggs is that pasture-raised chickens only live free to forage on the pasture and then have the supplemental feed of grain. In that case, it'll be USDA organic, whereas the other chickens aren't free to forage. They're usually inside, so pasture raised for the win. And you have three super solid options here. And speaking of pasture raised, you don't see this at too many Walmarts that I've been to. Pasture raised grass fed ghee. I love this fourth and heart. This is phenomenal stuff. Price here, $6.98 really really good stuff i'd say if you want a more economical option though and you want something comparable obviously Kerrygold is pretty close to 100 percent grass fed but if you want something more economical here i would get unsalted organic butter is organic the beautiful thing being it's non-gmo it's 478 for four big sticks so that's a good option grass-fed ghee is better in my opinion pair that with the grass-fed eggs for the win I want to show you a couple of gems in the freezer section here in case you want easy meal ideas. Here it is. This is the plant-based section here. Right here. They make some really interesting stuff. Tattooed Chef. They have a lot more options than I'm starting to see. This is the Buddha Bowl. It looks lovely. Even more lovely to me is the ingredients. Look at this. Cauliflower. I love tahini, which is like sesame seed paste. That's the dressing made with olive oil. Chickpeas are marinated in olive oil. Rest of the ingredients are totally Bobby approved. Macros, right, not low carb because of the uh, chickpeas, but looks really solid to me. That's nice. I would try that out for sure for an easy meal idea. And then pizza. I would make my own pizza and grab some of that organic cheese from the other section and then use this as your crust. This is Cali flour plain keto pizza crust. You get two of these for $9.46. And why I love these, first of all, this is keto. Look at that, one net carb per serving, which is a third of a crust. So let's just say you eat the whole darn thing. You're only having three net carbs. But look at that. I mean, fresh cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, egg whites and salt, that's it. I mean, do I wish the mozzarella cheese was organic? Sure, but very few um, prepared products will use that. That's about as clean as they get. Make some homemade pizzas with that. Grab some pizza sauce, some cheese, you're good to go. All right, family, that is it for the Walmart budget-friendly haul. Uh, big thank you to Walmart for sponsoring the video. Check out Walmart Plus using my link in the description box, walmartplus.com. Get your free trial. Try it out. It's same-day delivery for groceries. It's the same prices as in-store. So make some of the recipes I talked about. Use the recipe links in the description box. You will love it. Uh, but that is it. For myself, Desi Rose, the whole crew, I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.